Hello everyone, my name is Arvind and today's topic is open VPN for cloud connectivity. Let's understand the scenario. Here we have on-premises and here we have a cloud infrastructure and we have site-to-site -site connectivity using IPsec VPN over the public internet. And let's say this is a private instance and all the users from on-premises are accessing this private instance via IPsec tunnel. But what in case if there is a user at some remote location and that user wants to access this private instance securely. To resolve this issue, we have an option of OpenVPN. To implement this, first we have to provision an OpenVPN access server downloaded from Marketplace. Then all the remote users will download OpenVPN client application then it will create a secure SSL tunnel over the public internet and can access all the private instance securely. So the OpenVPN establish a secure channel between VPN client and VPN server and it uses its own custom protocol based on TLS and SSL. These are some key benefits of OpenVPN. This is highly secure, open source, free for two simultaneous connections, since it uses common ports like 443, it can bypass firewalls and it is also available for all the platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. OpenVPN is widely supported by all the major cloud providers like Oracle Cloud, Azure, Google Cloud, Amazon and DigitalOcean. And for the lab, I'll be using Oracle Cloud. This is my network architecture for OpenVPN remote access connectivity to Oracle Cloud. This is my laptop in India and I have created a VCN in Ashburn region of Oracle Cloud. I'll be downloading OpenVPN access server from Oracle Cloud Marketplace and I will download OpenVPN client in my laptop. Then it will create a secure tunnel over the public internet to access all the private resources running on Oracle Cloud. This is my VCN cider and these are two subnets within this VCN. These are some ports which we have to open in our security list for OpenVPN. TCP 22 for SSH, TCP 943 for admin web UI, TCP 443 for HTTPS, TCP 945 for clustering features and UDP 1194 to initiate UDP based VPN sessions to the VPN server. Now we are on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace page where we have OpenVPN access server with two free VPN connections. If I press this get app button, it will take me to the OCI console for login credentials. But I will not do this because I have already logged into OCI console and I will change the operating system image to OpenVPN access server. We can go to change image, click on partners images. Now we will look for remote VPN remote access server. Now we will check this option, accept the terms and condition, select the image. We'll give a name OpenVPN access server. This is my subnet one and this is subnet two. I have two Windows machines running on these subnets and I will be creating OpenVPN access server instance in subnet 1. So here I'll be selecting subnet 1. Now we have to add SSH keys using putty keygen. We will copy the public key and paste it here and we will click create to create this instance. The OpenVPN access server instance has been provisioned. We will save the private key of this instance. Now we have to login into the OpenVPN access server to set up the initial configuration. We will copy this public IP address, paste it here. We will add the SSH keys. When you log in into the server, the default username is OpenVPN AS. Now it will do some default configuration and we have to type yes to indicate our agreement. Now we have to keep pressing enter as we are okay with the default configuration.
now we have to set the password for openvpn client the username is openvpn i will set the password as openvpn so the configuration has been completed now we do not have to log in into this access server using ssh so we can close this session since the open vpn access server has been configured now we will be configuring the client machine to do that we have to copy the public ip address of access server and on a client machine we will open this on a web browser using https this is the message from my antivirus as this certificate is built on an untrusted root center we have to ignore this and click on i understand the risk and wish to continue the username and password is openvpn as we have already set on access server since we are using windows machine so it's recommending to download for windows the client application has been downloaded now we will install it we have installed the open vpn client application but to use that we have to make some changes in the admin portal we have added slash admin after public ip address of access server the username and password is same open vpn click on agree now we have logged into the admin console of open vpn now we have to do some configuration to make it work click on configuration network setting replace it with the public ip address otherwise your client will not be able to connect to the access server we will copy the public ip address of access server and we will paste it here scroll down and click save settings next click on vpn settings under routing we have a default cider which is for subnet 1 but we do not have cider for subnet 2 if we do not mention that we will not be able to communicate with subnet 2 under dns settings we have to enable use specific dns server and we will be providing google dns ip address now we are done with all the required settings we'll save the settings and click on update running server now we will open open vpn client application now we will create a new connection enter the public ip address of access server click next accept username open vpn password is also open vpn import now we will start the connection open vpn okay click yes now if you look at here the open vpn client application connected to open vpn access server now we will do some testing for verification this is my first windows machine on subnet 1 and this is my second windows machine on subnet 2 for testing we will do rdp to both the machines using their private ip addresses for first windows machine this is the private ip address we'll do rdp and we are able to connect now we will do the same test for second windows machine we'll copy the private ip address we'll do rdp
and this is also connected so we are able to connect to both the windows machine successfully so at the end let's do a quick recap this is my client machine this is open vpn access server we have created an ssl tunnel over the public internet and we have connected to access server using its public ip address and this access server does NAT and let us to connect to these windows machines privately so i hope the session has been informative thank you so much